very proud to represent Nissan this year. I've grown to love the GTR. It's a big old beast, but it's great fun. I'm sure it's pretty terrifying when you see it coming up in your rearview mirror. The most important thing I think was to see actual progression from the start of the year to the end of the season. I really feel like I've taken you know a decent stride forward. It's helped me massively to progress as a driver this year. I think just having all the, the data, all the information, a higher standard of drivers um, to, to compete with and to learn from. You know, motorsport is basically a giant roller coaster where the highs are high and the lows are low. And of course, you got on the podium at Spa, which first of all, it's Spa, second, it's a podium, which everyone will remember out of this season. But for me, going from 21st up to 10th during his stint is probably the best drive. My dream has been to, to get to Le Mans, that's the, the target, and having raced a season now in the British GT and having been to Le Mans to watch the 24 hour race for the first time, just to see what a special event it is, you know, it's just cemented this, this passion and this, this dream to get there. Moving into prototype cars makes sense and a different style of driving, different type of car, faster cars, more downforce. Um, and the, the real thing, the next season is the real crunch season because I have to take a big step forward. Um, you know, it's not just about, you, know, you don't get that kind of grace of being a, a novice driver and you don't get that kind of leeway. I really want to be there to, to represent the team and to do the best I can and to have earned that place. And for that reason, next year, you know, I really am going to approach this with um, similar dedication to my cycling. You know, I really have to put as much time as I, I possibly can into this and then really try and take a big step forward.